Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Hand of Ignorance. Friends, today we are going to explore the fascinating world of heat transfer. Specifically, we will be diving into the concepts of conduction, convection and radiation. So, why to wait? Let's get started. Friends, let's start with what conduction is. Conduction is the transfer of heat through direct contact between objects. Imagine that you are holding one hand of a metal spoon over a flame. Now, as you do, heat will be conducted from the flame to the spoon's handle, making it hot. Now, you must be wondering why this happened. Well, friends, this happens because metals are good conductors of heat. Heat energy is passed from one particle to the next, causing them to vibrate and transfer the energy along the spoon. In essence, we can say that conduction is all about transfer of heat through solids. Now, friends, let's move on to convection, which involves heat transfer through the movement of fluids. To understand this, let's think of a pot of boiling water on a stove. Have you ever noticed how the water near the bottom gets hotter first? Well friends, this is due to convection. As the water is heated, the hot molecules become less dense and rise to the top. Meanwhile, the cooler denser water sinks to the bottom. This creates a circulation pattern called a convection current. Well, convection is not limited to liquids. It also occurs in gases. Consider the example of a room with an air conditioning unit. The cold air released by the unit sinks to the floor, displacing the warmer air and cooling the room through convection. Lastly, let's explore radiation, a unique method of heat transfer that doesn't require any physical contact or a medium to travel through. Well, friends, have you ever stood in front of a warm fireplace or felt the heat from the sun on a sunny day? In both the cases, you experienced radiant heat transfer. Radiation is the emission of electromagnetic waves carrying thermal energy. It can travel through a vacuum such as outer space and even reach us here on earth. It is important to note that all objects emit radiation, but the amount and wavelength depend on their temperature. The hotter an object, the more intense the radiation it emits. Now that we have explored each process individually, let's compare conduction, convection and radiation to see how they differ and where they commonly occur. While conduction and convection requires a medium for heat transfer, radiation can occur in a vacuum. Conduction occurs primarily in solids, convection in fluids and radiation can happen across all states of matter. And that's a wrap on our exploration of heat transfer. We have covered the basics of conduction, convection and radiation. Remember, conduction is all about direct contact, convection involves fluid movement and radiation is the emission of electromagnetic waves. Understanding these processes helps us comprehend how heat moves and how it affects our daily lives. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting science content. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious. Thank you. Then you are.